why clients are not interested to pay for book knowledge. So one of the things that is coming up super regularly here when we are doing a brainstorming exercise with our clients is that they try to remember uh, things from a previous case they solved or they have seen in their previous professional lives and then are rather thinking about um, yeah, what uh, was their professor telling them in this and this situation and then try to remember what could be a good solution based on a different context, a different situation, often also from a textbook or a casebook. And in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to explain why this is not a good idea and also why clients are not paying a couple of thousands of US dollars for this a day. So why textbook solutions are not cutting it and why it is usually also not perceived as outstanding in the evaluation of your case interview performance. Now, clients are really, really, really sensitive about one topic. And that is, will the consultants only bring their standard framework and then push the client situation into it? Or will they be reflective of the nuances and the specific situation of the client's context? And that also is showing exactly and tested also exactly when you're getting asked a brainstorming question. Because if you are then answering that very specific and contextual brainstorming question with a simple textbook answer or something you have seen in another case or in a case book that is not adapted to the client's nuances, to the client's context, it is not a good answer, right? This is not about coming up with 10 or 15 random bullets I mean, most problems have been solved globally, right? So I don't know how many textbooks might have been written for the question at hand. But clients are not paying for textbook solutions, right? They can ask ChatGPT by themselves. They can find and read Harvard Business Review articles by themselves, right? So this is not what they are looking for. What they are looking for and what will make the difference is contextualization. So what exactly do you know that could justify the answers that you have just been given. So give them a reason why you have selected the answers as you have selected them. Don't throw like 10 bucks into them, right? Because this is like completely out of context. And that's the opposite of what you want to be perceived as. So yes, you will be in the, I don't know, maybe like top third or so of people if you're giving like a perfect casebook answer, right? Mm, that's okay, right? Renegotiating with our suppliers. This is maybe one, right? But um, this will never cut through, right? So this will never be an absolute outstanding performance if you're not able to contextualize this with something that has been discussed and justify your answers. And it's absolutely not easy to do. And it's also absolutely not easy to learn that this will make all the difference, right? So the next time you are answering uh, a case question, please refrain from just thinking about what was the solution in a different context and push yourself harder here to really contextualize the answer. And you can do this by justifying why exactly this answer, why exactly this idea, why exactly this bucket, if you want, <laughs> um, is relevant for our clients' context and specific nuances they uh, gave you. So hope that helps. Uh, looking forward. So long. Bye-bye.